Asian me ready. Asian me ready. Asian me ready. Feet up. Feet up. Quiz has fun. Quiz has fun. Oh yes. 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 I'm cool with a uh, bowl of pretty pebbles. Some milk, you know. Yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying to work. Life, uh, you know, life mm-hmm. in this industry is definitely, I mean, fast paced. Yeah. You have to find, you have to find your happy medium because you can't eat rallies every day. Yeah, that's that's why we only eat it every Saturday. <laughs> but... Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ritual. I can't help it. You know, they started it when we started the show, and I'm just finishing it. And fortunately for me, we don't have one inside, it, otherwise I'd be eating one. I guess day. it's different for you know you guys. For us models, man, that photo shoot. I was on a liquid diet oh, for probably like two weeks before. So, and I still, I'm like, oh, I still look a little fluffy. But I mean, I'm a curvy model, so I get, hey, whatever, I'll take it. Oh no, you look just fine to me. <laughs> You look just fine to me. Trust that. That's all Atkins. Straight protein shakes, bre- breakfast, lunch, and dinner for about two weeks. Man, that day that we came in and seen a picture. <laughs> I, I was like this the whole Rio. time. Rio was supposed to be DJing. I seen <laughs> some, some dripped on the keyboard. Oh, so I'm trying to see, like, was he sweating Was it something. drool? He was drooling out the corner of his mouth. Really? <laughs> it was coming out the corner of his mouth. Your boy got you hanging like that. Huh? That's what we, that's that's made. See earlier, you called no, me out on no. Twitter and called I did me bring a set for you guys today, so you don't have to steal bosses. Because he was so upset because he was trying to take it down, actually. And I told him if he took it down, I'd never be his friend again. Wow. So he said if it comes up missing, it's all gonna be real and shoot him small. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, well, I'm definitely gonna bring you guys. So here's a well, copy. I appreciate it. And I will sign Sorry. them. You know, real didn't, of course, have a sharpie. So you know, I got, just I mean, I got my real with He wants pen. me to put. Lipstick and gloss on it, ladies. Tell him that shit doesn't really last. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes you know you just go with the flow. Tell him it doesn't last. Yeah, like it doesn't uh, really stick. You know what though? I, I got a couple collars. It, it lasts very well on. Well, material, <laughs> material, yes, but not on the back of you know pictures. It's it's just gonna smudge. It's not really. 24 hour last. Well, if you do it and then I frame it. Well, you know what? You ain't got to put it on the story. Oh, okay, yeah. That might work. Yeah. uh, You gonna frame it? I might have to. Where you gonna put it at? Right above my. No, I'm playing. (laughs) (laughs) But, um, anyways. I'm gonna start setting you up, I promise. Oh, man. Use a real. (laughs) We wetting on air. Boy. (laughs) I tell you. I, that's cool though. I got Rio S T V to do that for, so I uh, uh, get it at the end of the show though. That's all I'm saying. But uh, yeah, what else you got? You know, going on now, like around you, like recent that you got coming up events. I know you got, y'all just did the Young Jeezy thing. You we know, did, how did that go? Well, I mean, whoever was at the concert knows that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little upset, man, because only because my company, A-List Entertainment, that's what we do. We specialize in backstage interviewing and red carpet interviews, concerts, anything like that to get the local celebs and national celebs just out there. Mm-hmm. And um, it was, I was so upset because, like, everybody goes out there, everything's doing fine. Jeezy comes on stage, he does some songs, and these females start getting it in. I'm talking about taking stilettos off and beating the other girl in the head. Oh, wow. Like, and they carry an off, they carry them off stage, and their dresses are above their head, so you have boobs and butt all out, and then it's like, it was like, just right. It was, it was, it was really disgusting. Even when guys were like, oh, yeah. like guys were even like, no. And you know, all the guys was like, oh, I want to see a girl fight. They were just like, dude, this is sad. Yeah. yeah. So little to say that Jeezy did a couple songs. I think he was supposed to go for a little bit longer, but what they wound up doing instead of having him in the all access room in the back, having him, you know, doing the meet and greet, they took him and took him straight out the building. His security wow. was like, no. Wow. So everybody, all the media that came for the one-on-one interviews didn't get them. And everybody that paid for the after party to come in, because you know those tickets, like if you didn't go to the concert, you can just pay like 25 or $30 and just come yeah. to the after party. Mm-hmm. Well, they had purchased the tickets and they had closed the whole building down. So. Wow. But 
I mean, it was an awesome concert. The local people did really good opening, and then, of course, you know, Jeezy did his thing on the stage, but it was, like, just such a letdown for people that wanted to come chill at the after party, and then especially all the media that was there that wanted the interviews. But I'm definitely not stopping. I have a lot of a lot of things in the works. Some stuff, television-wise, I'm so excited. Nice. So um, I don't want to say anything on it yet because I don't speak on anything until I sign the contract. Right. <laughs> I do it legally. Okay. I don't okay. give them any promo until they pay me. <laughs> right. I'm that. So... <laughs> You gotta, you gotta keep everything yeah. business related now. If you ain't messing with with the paperwork, then you ain't doing nothing. And that's the thing. Everybody wants to get paid, but they never want to do anything legal. Right. And on my show, right. The Industry Addiction, I tell everybody, back yourself up. Right. I don't care if you don't have a computer. Because everybody's like, I don't have a computer. Which, if you don't have a computer these days in this industry... <laughs> but it's ways to get I mean, computer. But I'm library. saying, local yeah. library. But even if, I'm not saying this is the best way, but it'll back you in court and get you money in your pocket, is if you can possibly just write, okay, write it down. I'm supposed to meet so and so here for this mo amount amount of money and for you know this duration you know what i'm saying it'll back you in case you don't get your money or get only a portion of it then you can take that to court and at least you'll get something back on it but it's a tough world out there oh yeah it's, it's already a tough world out there but in this industry it's even tougher oh no, so. no, no no it's not tough in this industry it's straight cutthroat yeah it's yeah. straight cutthroat. There's nothing tough about it. Like, you have to have really, really thick skin. And not only am I in this industry, I have a business in this industry. Mm -hmm. oh. So, I thought we were supposed to have our phones on vibrate. I'm just saying. Uh, excuse me, sir. See, I'm like the main one that always has yeah. mine on vibrate. This week, <laughs> is just, I'm slipping. Slipping over. It's that Rackley's messing up. Excuse mom. that interruption. <laughs> hey, you know, what? I don't even want to hear it for the past couple <laughs> weeks. Y'all had y'all phone trains going off and just all kinds of sounds and jingles. Oh, wow. I ain't trying to hear that. I ain't got nothing to do with you that. Know? Yeah. Wow. Teen wow. Summit. How was Teen Summit? Yes. Oh, man. Shout out to Kelly Red, man. Okay. She did her thing. Teen Summit was great. Um, of course, you know, I didn't make it there till 5. But um, I said from 5 to 7, and it was shout out to everybody who performed, man. Um, and I want to really, really just shout out mm -hmm. to um, I'm not, I'm really not a specific person. I don't really, I give everybody their props. But Lucky Lou, he said, I don't know if y'all heard his mix yet. It's called Stomp the Violence. And I really promote all nonprofits and anything to help the kids and, you know, anything that's talking positive about the society. And he has this little mix called Stomp the Violence. And he wrote the song, um, he recorded it, of course, of course, and then he choreographed the whole thing. And he performed it for Team Summit, and hmm. yeah. Nice. He is definitely like. They don't have like any right video footage of that, it's like on YouTube. YouTube. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go search it soon. Lucky get up out stomp the, no, stomp the, D A. Oh, yeah, yeah, with the D. Yeah, D A. Okay. Yeah, yeah but he's, he's cool people. But no, the whole team summit, and Callie Red, she was so busy, but she did her thing. I mean, everything, Crime Stopper, shout out to them. Everything was a nice turnout. Now, it's not, the crowd is still, like, not pre-Katrina, like what it was. Mm -hmm. But I think it's getting there because it's definitely more, you know, right. than, you know I think it was a year. big thing that the tickets was free, too. Yeah, oh, definitely. Shout out to NBC Bank. They paid for everybody to get in for free. Yeah. And not shout out to Green Inca's towing that uh -oh. towed my girl's car from Early. Park in the Rouse's parking lot because they said that they have a guy that follows people from the Rouse's parking lot to the arena to make sure they're at events at the arena and then they tow their cars once they're in so shout out wow. to him and his loser company wow. <laughs> his bum job. yeah get a life wow that yeah. sucks and it was definitely a hundred and sixty dollars to get it out lord on canal street Ooh. and we had to call the police because he didn't want to give us the car wow because <laughs> you know they get paid by like the daily rates yeah, and stuff right. like that the daily so it's like y'all can like come back monday this is saturday night we're like we're not coming out we're yeah. not coming back on monday you're gonna give yeah, us our man. stuff now yeah yeah, so, I should have called me. I could have got the car for free. I normally don't cut up. That's my, <laughs> that's my high school days of cutting up. But yeah. I don't like people getting over two women. Especially you just see two women. You don't know the strength behind us. So right. we, we definitely got the cops out there. And the, the guy apologized. <laughs> that's what I, I wanted. I wanted an apology. I felt played. <laughs> yeah. I bet he did. He was probably cutting up before the cops got the officer. Um... I don't know what they're talking about. I tried to give them their car back, but they she didn't want to come in. <laughs> yeah. no, uh, you got off easy though, because when I got my car towed, it was like four hundred some dollars. Man, I would have given them one sixty, and he could have found the rest. <laughs> I'm not. Uh uh. I like my money. The money that I make, I will not waste on like stupid stuff. Because all it is is a hustle. I mean, they literally towed seven cars because we were in line with all people from Team Summit. Mm -hmm. So they made one hundred and sixty dollars a pop seven cars like back wow. to back to back so they uh, know what they be doing yeah and then we had to pay an open mm -hmm. gate fee 
for them to open the gate because it was after normal business hours. I said, well, wow. you told it after normal business hours. So, yeah. Y'all don't park in the Rouses for anything. <laughs> anything out there at the UNO Lakefront Arena, man. I ain't parking anywhere where I ain't got no business being. I'm parking as close as my it's destination. It's a big public is. parking lot, though. Yeah. I'm just saying. How do they know we're not in Rouses shopping? I'm right. just saying. They probably told Rouses customers, too. Wait. The funny part was is that when we were in line paying for our car, a Rouses employee was like, dude, they pulled my car. Like, he had the Rouses shirt wow. on and everything. <laughs> he had shirt on and everything and he was like uh i guess they thought i was at teen summit and this dude's like 82 like that's, with a rousey shirt on and i'm like man that's petty so that's even told their own employee cars so that says what kind of company you're dealing with yeah i don't know if you heard the news today what's the news is it your birthday i wish <laughs> <laughs> June 30th, we got Chris Bautista on the show. Yeah. And I heard he did his thing at Twitter Summit. No way he did. Yeah. He did. I was actually um, taking a phone call outstairs. I'm uh, um, outstairs. Upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> and then I heard him, and I was like, oh, wow. And I came out, and definitely, definitely something that I just sat in somebody else's chair. I was like, excuse me, because I just wanted to relax, you know, and watch him. Yeah. But, yeah, he definitely did his thing. Very talented oh, man. individual, yeah. yes. Definitely. It's another person. June 30th. Wow. Y'all to come join us. Yeah, I will definitely be in here. You know you gotta remind me. I will. (laughs) Moms might need to get some more, you know, meat from the store that day. You never know. You You never know. Tell her to uh, breed a couple chickens or something. Oh, she can cook though, so I just let her do her thing. That's real. I feel that. I was Come like, whatever, because I'm gonna be eating half on. this food anyway. Yeah, so it's it's that. a catch twenty two in there. Yes. Did y'all go to the comedy tour last night? Did anybody no. know? No. I didn't either. I wanted to know how it was. I, I ain't heard nothing about. Wait. I mean, there's enough comedy around tonight? us. What's today? I don't know What's what today it? is. <gasps> no, that's tonight. Oh. It's the twenty sixth. Really. So yeah, it is. no one ain't heard nothing about it. Yeah. <laughs> Swerve. Yeah. I guess I'll ask yeah. that question tomorrow. That's all good though. You know? Who performing this year? All I heard was Mike Epps. <laughs> That's all I need to hear. Yeah. yeah. And um, oh wait, Mike Epps and then the guy that um, act like a lady, think like a man. What's his um, that comedian? I don't know. I know his face. I'm sorry if you're listening. I'm blown. <laughs> I don't know who he's yeah. like. But that's how they promote him. They're like, so and so from Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. So it's their fault that I'm like mispromote them. <laughs> it's all gravy though, you know? Yeah. I mean, but if you want to see some comedy, just go on realstv.com. Check out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty if you want to see some comedy, it's a day in the life of Aviana. I'm going to have a camera crew follow me. Okay. That's freaking comedy. The life of Aviana. Oh my God. Yeah. You'll be so busy. With, I, I know how it is in a bit. Mm-hmm. Is there a special man in your life? Oh, Boy, man. Ask a question like that. I know. Why do I always get stuck? You know, did boss tell you to ask that? Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Actually, no. I am single. Um, I'm doing the, like, the family thing right now, of course. Um, I don't know. A lot of people that don't know me, I was in the military for seven years. Wow. So I was in the Air National Guard. Um, I deployed and everything. So when I came back home, you know, I picked up where I left off with my boyfriend of five years. Mm-hmm. And we had an argument. Um, this was October 2010. We had an argument, and like, I was like stuck to my argument. I'm like, you know what? I'm not talking to him because I'm right. You know, like I'm right. Yeah. So I'm not talking to him because I'm always like trying to make in like you know men things. Right. But like we got in an argument, and um, I didn't talk to him for like two weeks because I wouldn't call him, and he wouldn't call me. <laughs> right. And like two I, weeks? I, I moved back out and moved with my mom. Like packed a bag. <laughs> And like, just was like, you know what? I'm sticking to my guns. And like, when I called him, I'm like, this is freaking stupid. Let me just call him and apologize. It's ridiculous. We've been together five years. Mm. So I called him, and it was kind of like, oh, I wish you would have called me two weeks ago. I'm seeing somebody. Wow. Oh. Yes. Yes. I mean, and you know, to this day, it's nothing but all love. I actually just saw and talked to him the other night. So um, I'm actually I'm good with it because had that not happened. I always put my family and my guy first. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, of course, my career is first, but you know, at the end of the day, when your career is gone, you have to come home to somebody. So you need right. to make sure they're taken right. care of. So um, 
I always did put him first. So had had we not separated or whatever, then mm -hmm. I would have. I definitely right wouldn't have started this business or anything like that. So, but I guess you know, like what goes around comes around. Cause now he's not with the chick he left me for. So right. and he's you know right. lonely, and now I feel like I'm on top of the world. So I feel that I just got a relationship man. myself due to some similar situations. <laughs> you know, it's about the bubble top down, music loud.